Okay guys, doing a video here for HS Gill Transports for Harmon and his father Satnam. Now they had two trucks on order. And unfortunately, um, the father Satnam had some health issues and um, we had to go ahead and sell his other truck. But they did that really cool uh, signal green truck over here. And so we have another buyer for that one. And then you're going to see a video here upcoming on that red one as well. I want to talk about it a little bit. So, but back to this truck. Um, this is their North Sea Gray truck. We did a North Sea Gray frame. And uh, he's he's uh, good friends with Kamal Jot. Hope you're doing well out there, Kamal. And these guys were pretty smart on how they did it. They're young guys. They're in their 20s. And this is their first Long Hood Pete. So um, they're, they built the truck, the base truck, the way that they wanted. And... They're doing flatbed, a little bit heavier flatbed applications. So on these trucks, we went ahead and went with the 2250 torque, the 2250 torque transmission. It's got the 605 Cummins and everything in it, 20, 2050 torque. And then uh, we did the weed burner exhaust. They're gonna do all their own upfits. So he's capable of going ahead and doing all of his visor stacks and everything he has his drop panels new bumper all that stuff they're gonna do that hands-on on their own and it is a really nice way to save money especially in this day and age on uh, body shop work so For all you Kenworth guys. Man, it's so easy to pull these peat hoods over. You know, I know the new 589 is going to be that easy too. Why? Because they kept the huck bolted and the aluminum hood. Yeah, so, hope you guys saw the, the video I put out on some of the options that are going to be available for the 589s. I'm really excited about the 72 inch sleeper. It is going to have a fridge. Now one thing that um, the guys who are the, the project leaders for the 589 project, I just found out yesterday, they've been working on this thing since 2014. They've been working on that truck a while. Um, but long story short, there's going to be some cool new headlights that are coming out for it. Gonna be seeing some LED headlights. I'm hopeful that maybe we might be able to retrofit some 389s with them too. So he did four straps per tank. Def tank pushed to the rear. That way we could line them up symmetrically. So I got kind of a question I wanted to put out there to you guys. Um, I've heard that there might be some adjustment on Bendix disc brakes or maybe even Meritor disc brakes. And if you guys have actual adjustments, not slack adjuster per se, but just adjustments on the rotors and pads, I'd like to get some information on that and I'd like to put some YouTube videos out. So double frame on this one. They went with 24 tall rubber, full lockers. Now these are the D42 Danas, so they're the bigger, bigger, heavier wall Danas. With lube pump. Yeah, I haven't talked about lube pump in a little while because I haven't been doing as many vocational trucks, but the lube pump is what pushes oil out to the axle end so that you don't overheat an axle if you're spinning. And so if you guys have questions about that when we're specking your new truck, uh, we can go through that. So real quick, as you can see here, I put in my PowerPoint presentation on the 589. You have to swing this over to get to your air cleaner. Now on the 589s, the air cleaner is in front of that bracket so you don't have to swivel it at any to get to your air cleaner which is pretty sweet 
So he went with the plat platinum gray, or I mean the Arctic gray interior, I'm sorry. This truck came in at 19,236 pounds, and that would be because of the bigger transmission and configuration there. So nothing too crazy on the inside. Bunk heater, Sears 80 seats. I have been in communication with the Sears rep, and hopefully within the next year to two years, you're gonna be seeing a lot more options on some of these style of seats. Um, the newer version of the Atlas 80 that's coming out is gonna have an accumulator in there so that you can actually adjust your rebound and dampening, kind of like adjusting your suspension, so to speak. And this one has the 72 inch stand up sleeper. We did the business center and fridge and everything in here. So give these guys a big thumbs up, shout out, congratulations. He worked really, really hard to get this done. We sure appreciate you guys. Satnam, I hope you're feeling better. And I'd like to see you back out on the road again soon. And if you guys have any questions about doing pre-order on your 589, please give me a shout, 970-518-5520, and we'll talk to you all soon. Stay safe, everybody.